Hello and welcome to the Dennis M. Lynch Arena for Anchor TV's presentation of Rick Hockey. Our last time here, we saw the Anchorman run rampant through the St. Anselm Hawks 6-1. to one. Since then, the Anchorman have beat UVM, Norwich, and have battled to a 3-3 tie with Roger Williams. The team took a loss to UMass while on the road to take their record to overall 3-1-1. One one. Last time out, Cody, Warm Cody Warnock and Alex Lyman dominated in the scintillating partnership has torn apart opponents with a combined 16 points between the two. On the other end of the spectrum, Mike Young has yet to get into his top form. When he does, this offense for the Anchorman will be feel feared by everyone in the Northeast. Let's see if he can get things going tonight against the East Connecticut, Eastern Connecticut State Warriors. I'm Jared Ware, joined by anchor hockey beat writer Sam Allen, and I'm glad that's over. <laughs> Sam, now I have to ask you questions. All right. Sam. We talked about the games, Vermont, Norwich, as well as Roger Williams. What did yep. you see in those three games? I def Roger Williams' game, I have to say, was hard to watch. We tied. It's very anticlimactic to end in a tie, but it was definitely a good game. Roger Williams tried to take out Cody Warnock with a hit. Cody ended up coming back, scoring on them, and newcomer Mike Mark Natalizia ended up getting the tying goal for the game. I wasn't at the game at UVM, but from what I heard, they dominated. 6-2 to two win against a team that's two conferences yep. higher than they are. So that was definitely a big win for the guys in Norwich. It's a little sloppy, not going to lie, but everyone has those games, especially when it's a weekend on the road. It's always hard to kind of keep it up. Yep. Uh, and I mentioned in the intro, a loss on the road to UMass Lowell. UMass Lowell, obviously, as, a, as their regular varsity program, Division One squad, so taking a loss there at the club level, not as bad as that looks. How do you feel about that? Losses happen. It's only one on the season. We only lost three to two, three to two. So it's not like they dominated against us. We got goals on them. So I don't think it was that bad of a loss, and it wasn't against a conference team. So I don't think it's the, it's that hard on the guys. I also mentioned Alex Lyman, Cody Warnock. They've been tearing it up eight points apiece, sixteen between the two of them. That second line has been great. Mm -hmm. What do what do you what line? For you, we have the lines in front of us. Which line needs to step up tonight? I definitely think the starting line needs to step up. The starting line of Martins, Young, and Brent Moore definitely needs to step step up. They have the top two defensemen with them on the team. So the defensemen, there's no problem with them there. There's no problem stopping the puck from getting in our zone, but we need to score with that line. That line ended up producing um, up at Norwich. Martins had his first two goals of the season. So I'm hoping tonight that kind of keeps up the mentality. Those three have been on the team for years together, so I'm hoping that they'll be able to step it up a little bit. We asked for your prediction before last game. Obviously, no one could have predicted 6-1 <laughs> nah. to one in that one. Let's get one out on the table here at the beginning of this game. Oh, boy. I don't know. I've been hearing from one side that this is Eastern Connecticut's first year with the club team. So I didn't think they were that good. Coaches told me they're kind of good. I'm thinking we're going to win, but only by probably two goals. Okay, there it is. Two-goal victory for the Anchorman. We're going to step away here on Anchor TV, and we'll be back for the starting lineup in National Anthems. And then the puck will drop, so stick around. I'm Jared Ware with Sam Allen. Anchor TV back inside the Dennis M. Lynch Arena for Rhode Island College Hockey set to take on the Eastern Connecticut State Warriors. We're going to send it down to the ice for the starting lineups and the national anthem.
So starting tonight for the anchormen, the forwards will be Cody Warnock, Alex Lyman, and Seth Tobias. As we mentioned, Warnock and Lyman tearing it up right now as a, as a tandem. And the defenders on the ice first, Marco Scotty and Brad Conway. And for the Warriors on the ice, we have Stephen Halleck, Corey Watson, Max Walker, Corey Gabor, and in between the pipes, Kyle Manulo. I think that's what we decided on. Manu yeah. Manulo. Manulo. And between the pipes, obviously, for the anchormen, Vincent Tadino, who was Vinny Tadino, who was excellent the last time we were here against St. Angelo. Getting ready to start. Let's remember Sam Allen predicted a two-goal margin of victory here for the Anchorman. We'll see if that holds true tonight. I hope so. Both teams getting ready. Their last bit of prep talk here from their coaches. Excited. I'm, I, I'm hoping we get another good game. The last game obviously was great from a win perspective, mm -hmm. six to one. If we could be a little more competitive today and still get a win, that would be great. Set to take the face off are Gabor and Tobias. Tobias for the anchorman, Gabor for the Warriors. And we're underway here inside the Lynch and the Warriors win the face off. Watson's got it, throws it up against the boards. Warriors passing around the defense off the boards again in the direction of Walker, he couldn't handle it. Conway falls, nearly lost possession there. Runs all the way to the goalie. Manolo slows it down. Gabor leaves it for Walker. Excuse me, Gabor has it now at center ice. Just chucked in there by Stephen Halleck. Halleck's a little guy. Yeah, well, real small. Watson's got it now for the Warriors. Look for the cross ice pass in the direction of I believe Sam Spellman who just came on the ice for his first shift. Warriors have it now. Breaking quickly, just dumped in. Blocker, blocker save there by Tadino. The rebound nearly fell kindly wow. for Eddie Dore on the doorstep. Good save there by Tadino. He looks to be on form once again. Just around this time last game, we had a goal a minute 30 seconds in. Mm -hmm. Could have, could have easily had one right there. The Warriors win the face off again, and they get a shot all the wow. way to Tadino, and the rebound is poked home. You just kind of jinxed by the there, Warriors. Jared. I know. I, announcer's Come curse. On. <laughs> announcer's curse. Joseph Angelico with the goal for the Warriors, and the roles are reversed. So last game, Anchorman scored within the first minute 30. This game, the Warriors get on another rebound. We saw a rebound on that on that shot down, uh, a possession to go by Door. Rebound off the faceoff, easy goal there for Angelico. I think we underestimated the newcomers. This is going to be a good game tonight. Natalizzi on the ice, battle court in the corner. Good move there by Jack Vani, whose last name we pronounced incorrectly <laughs> last week. Shot, <laughs> save, kicked away there. That shot came off the stick of Brian Luther for the anchorman. Slap shot from the point, and it nearly oh, deflected wow. in there. Took a wild deflection off the leg off, I think, a Warrior defender. And we're going to get a penalty here on EastCon. A little bit of cross-checking. Nick Bruno fired the shot in, took a deflection in front of the net just wide of that left post. Zach Vitale is in the box for the Warriors. So Vitale goes in. The anchormen have a power play here, a chance to level things up here at one. Tobias can't win the face off. The Warriors clear. Tadino, li Tadino lays it off for Huber. Huber's going to start the attack here for the anchorman. Gets it over to Tobias. Cut towards the middle. Lays one off. Moore had it across for, for Young, who only has one point on the season there. That would have been a big goal there for the anchorman. Big goal for Mike Young's confidence, as we said in the intro. If he can get going, that adds a whole new dimension to this anchorman team. Laura has got it now for the anchorman. Up in the neutral zone, across to Huber. Huber's gonna slow it up. Throws one off the boards there, onto the stick now of Cody Warnock. Back to Huber, shot, saved in front, rebound. Nearly poked home by Mora, who laid out for it. And then we have a little 
little little, little push and shove in. Early in the game, Tobias getting into it. I believe that's Brian Brian Rotkowitz for the Eastern Connecticut Warriors. They're getting into it with Seth Tobias. And Young goes to the fin bin. So now we're going to have four on four for about a minute, and then Eastcom will be on the power play. We saw this. One of the concerns we had that first game was the Anchorman penalty kill, which yeah. we'll see in a minute. They did a great job in that game. There's a crucial situation here early in this one. They did well with it last time, so hopefully they can keep it up. Gabor in the circle. Martins, he gets the boot. Lyman's going to come in for the Anchorman. Lyman able to win that faceoff. Puck behind the net here. Picked up and thrown against the boards. That was by Nick DeFusco. Nope, that was definitely by Marco Scotti. Oh, Marco Scotti's wearing 14, excuse me. <laughs> the man it's of many right. numbers. Yes. Conway tried keeping it in there with the glove. False the stick of a warrior. He tried dumping one in. Can't get it past Lyman there. Both teams battling for possession in the neutral zone here. Conway's got it for the anchorman. A little bit of a collision there. Not a huge one, but a little something something for you. Luther, I believe. Oh, no, that's Scotty. Excuse me. I think we're going to mess him up all season yeah, until he gets his actual rough. number. Let's get him his, his <laughs> proper jersey here. Doing no one any favors. <laughs> Laying out there is Chris Pond. No one around there him, but go. goes for the dive. Ryan <laughs> Martin. He's got a two-on-one situation here. Let's see what he can do. Loses control of it. Wraps one around the boards. Warriors have it now. Joseph Mortali looking in the direction of Julian. Here goes the Anchorman penalty kill. Let's hope they can keep this one up. They've been doing good so far. 44 seconds of the power play here for the Warriors. Deflection nearly fell there for Bruce Cutcomp. One of the great <laughs> names we'll have great all one. year. <laughs> Mortali has it. Cross ice pass in the direction of Corey Watson. Julian attacking, little little bump there. Nadiger knocked him off the puck. Thrown in to the chest of Tadino, he lays it off. Nadiger's not got it now for the anchorman. Looking to find the stick there of Larry Anthony. And then stuff here early, one nothing Warriors early goal. First, inside the first minute and 10 seconds of this game. And that one, just another odd wow. dumped in shot that mm -hmm. finds the post. We saw one of those get past. That's the only goal that got past Tadino against St. Anselm. That one rattled the post. It stays one nothing. The penalty, or the power play, excuse me, now over. So we're back to full strength. Sam, what are you seeing here early from the anchorman? Eh, I don't know. I have a lot of shots going on. They definitely want to try to get the goal. They don't like being down. But I feel like we also have a lot of guys who they all want a goal. Here comes Moore down the left wing. Try centering one in the direction of Martins. He couldn't get off. Good job defending there by Vitali. Rebound for Martins right in front, and there it goes go. in. One to one. He said he was going to go with the Paul Pierce <laughs> roll the dice celebration. I didn't see I it. I didn't see it either. I think he I forgot. I didn't see it. <laughs> he proclaimed that on Twitter earlier in the afternoon. He got his goal. <laughs> one to one now. Cody, uh, excuse me, Ooh. Ryan Martins, his eighth point of the year. Third goal. Third goal. Season. He's one of those players this year. Don't want to jinx him or anything, but he's reaching the hundred point mark. Hopefully, we'll see that by the end of the season. So as soon as I say there was <laughs> a goal inside the first minute thirty, we get a goal. <laughs> as soon as you say the anchorman don't like sitting uh, behind, they get a they goal. Get a goal. As Mora, he popped a shot from the blue line, <laughs> deflected away nicely by Mi uh, Manuel. Announcers have more power than we're given credit to. <laughs> Karma works there you go. in mysterious ways as Martins is set to take the face off. And, gets and he gets up. booted again. <laughs> Mike Young's going to skate in for it now. That was Angelico, the goal scorer for the Warriors, winning that face off. Left wing now attack, led by Eddie Dorr. Dorr had a great opportunity earlier in this period to make things 2 nothing. As it stands now, 1-1. One Warriors looking to get back into this one. Took the early advantage. Kind of struggled to impose their will since then. Mm -hmm. Vitaly's got it behind the net. Could not find the stick of Eddie Dorr. Again, they can't. Great four check here by the anchorman. 
keeping Eastcon trapped in their defensive zone. Bruno cross ice to Conway. Conway dumps it in. Thrown off the thrown off the boards. Excuse me. Tobias has got it now in the corner. Was looking in the direction of Cody Warnock. Intercepted there by Sam Spellman. Anchorman really dominating right now as Lyman mm -hmm. dumps it in again. This is our strongest line we have out right now. Lyman's got it. Rister in the middle. Warnock was waiting for the rebound. It never came. <laughs> Does it count when we get one of their players in the net? Emanuelo doing a good job covering up that puck because Cody Warnock was looking for his ninth point of the year. It'd be a six-goal team leading. He's got five goals at the moment. But this line offensively has been great. You're shaking your head. Why? Did you say Cody has five goals? He has two goals. Excuse me. I was looking <laughs> at Alex Lyman. They're essentially the same person, those two. Anchorman have it in front. Jack, Vo Jack Voney had an opportunity to get a shot off there. Could not. The attack breaks down. Conway's got it. He dumps it into the attacking zone. Ned Elizia giving chase. He's as quick as anyone on the ice. Probably He's one of the con. fastest skaters we have. This is the first time the puck has been in the East Con attacking <laughs> zone in probably the last two minutes. Vinny's getting kind of bored down there. Should have brought a book or something. To say to book homework. Studying. <laughs> there you go. Midterm season. <laughs> Nat Elizzi has got it on the left wing for the anchorman. Wanted to aim that into the middle. Still got it in the corner. Wraps around. Jack Boney slips. East Con looking to get something going here offensively. And again, they can't. Poor job keeping possession right now by the East Con Warriors. Anchorman, quick attack there, broken up. The Anchorman defense has just been immense so far in this game. They're this is very part, good. part East Con, but the neutral zone has been tough for East Con to navigate through. Easy night so far for, Didi for Tadino, even though he's given up that one goal. Good opportunity early as well for East Con to make it 2 nothing. Couldn't take advantage of it. I thought the puck was in the glove of one of the East Comp players there for a second. <laughs> I was thinking, what is he doing? Playing a little baseball. Nadiger's got it on his stick. Frantic battle here, mainly in the neutral zone at this point, the last minute or so. Been pretty even. Rose couldn't get a stick on it, couldn't control it. East Con takes possession. Looking in the direction of Matt Julian was defender Corey Watson, couldn't connect the pass. Mike Nadiger has it again. He's got it on the stick of Mora. Good job there. Sweeping in was Vitaly knocking that off the stick of Mora. Whoa, oh. lost possession there was Nadiger. Good job getting back and defending. And then there's a great opportunity right in front of the net by Matt Julian. Oh. And he only finds the chest of Tadino and then things oh, get chippy yeah. again. Nads got, Nadiger got kicked out a couple games. I think actually last game, or a couple games ago. So he doesn't want to see that again. Things got physical there between Julian and uh, it was Nadiger, Nadiger who started that? Yeah, well, I don't know if he started, but he was definitely involved and he's going to go to the bench, I think. That was his one thing. He said today he doesn't want to get tossed from the game again. He has one game misconduct on the season already. That's a great goal. Don't get kicked out of the game. Yeah, that, that's his only goal for today. Mike Young and Nadiger are going to go to the sin bin for the anchorman and as well... Devin as Fliss Devin Fliss and Matt Julian. Oh, and we got some word. Picked up a little <laughs> bit of language there with the mic. It happens. It's we, live we apologize. sports. <laughs> we can't control it. <laughs> We're all adults here. <laughs> Ref's trying to figure out the situation. Going to talk to the captains here. Just have them settle things down. Chippy starting this one. We've already seen two different skirmishes. This second one a little, a little more physical little than the first, but it's hockey. That's it's why we love this sport. People on. are going to get physical. You don't go to a hockey game hoping that a fight doesn't break out. Looks like Pat oh. Mulvihill is going to take a seat as well. So it's four on five right now. Anchorman have the advantage.
ref sorting it all out. We got to <laughs> let's get back to action here. Tobias, Tobias and Gabor set for the faceoff one there by the anchorman. Warnock's got it, leaves it for Tobias. Down low to Warnock. Wants to get one out front to Lyman. Back to War uh, Tobias in the corner. Up top to Huber. Huber goes over to Mora. Into the corner to Warnock. Patient, prodding attack here on the power play for the Anchorman. Huber is going to rip a shot, deflect it into the corner. Mora's got it now for the Anchorman. Fun fact about Ryan Huber. He actually broke his back last year during his senior year of high school. You wouldn't be able to wow. tell it now. That's unbelievable. I figured that was a little bit of a yeah, fun fact. No. That's great. Good to see him out playing again. Yeah. He back. couldn't play until, I believe he told me, end of August, beginning of September, and it's only the end of October now. That's a good return there. What a warrior. Brett yeah. Morris got it now for the anchorman. Takes it up all by himself. Thought about the shot there for a moment. Leaves it for Lyman, who's in the slot. Had a chance to put one on frame there. Huber's got it now. Over to Warnock. Warnock, Huber's got a chance to shoot. Wrist shot, tried to go into that bottom corner. Good job there by Manilo getting the, the old kick save in. Huber's got it behind the net to Lyman, and Lyman oh. pokes it home. Li Alex Lyman, that's his sixth goal of the year. I mistakenly said earlier, Cody <laughs> Warnock has six. But Alex Lyman, we saw him here last game. He was our number one star of the game. Had the hat trick, gets his first of the night here, and the anchormen take the lead two to one. So nothing, nothing fancy about that, that no. goal. Get it behind the net, square it in front, poke it home. That was a goal that you're taught how to shoot that type of goal back when you learned to skate. Absolutely. So Eastcon started this game with a flurry, got the early goal. The anchormen have settled in and really dominated this game since that goal. Now two to one. The fight there in that corner, you could say, cost the Eastern Connecticut Warriors there. That's just losing your composure. Can't have that. Nope. Anchorman have it now. Frank Vani had it for a moment there. He got dispossessed down into the corner. That's Bruno. vani has got it again now for the Anchorman. He's got it on the stick of Larry Anthony. Drop pass intended for Spencer Rose. Spencer Rose has got it behind the net for the anchorman. He was oh. knocked off the puck there. Cheap I giveaway. I feel like a few punches were thrown with that one. I don't know if I was seeing things, but it looked like a li little something on Spence. Physical early here in this game. This I like it. It's a very physical team. These games are fun. Rose throws it up against the board. The anchormen are going to make a line change here. We have a whistle. And I think everyone's out of the box. Oh, nope. I'm wrong. I'm going to reset things here with the face off. Everyone was just let out of the penalty box. We saw that mass exodus in front of us. Nope, I think there's one left. I think. <laughs> <laughs> there was too many to keep track of. And regardless, the anchorman win the face off there yeah. briefly. <laughs> Eastcon has to dump it back in off the stick of Fliss. Fliss, who was in that fight a few moments ago, he went to the box for that. Ooh, good bit of vision there defensively by the anchorman stepping in and intercepting that pass. It was a good look off the stick of Chris Pond. Trying to get it down low to Genster, who has it now for Eastcon. Reba rebound nearly fell for Constantine. We've nearly seen that on a few occasions. Juicy rebounds right in the slot for Eastcon to, pro to prod home. Rojak on the ice for the anchorman. Quick break there. Another another lost possession there. Gabor had a sh uh, took a shot, missed it wide left. Eastcon getting back into this one right now. Started the game off hot, opened up the scoring within the first minute. They faded. Anchorman took the two to one lead, but they look to be coming back in this one. Wrist shot off the stick of Brian Luther. Misses wide right. Luther's got it again. Looking in the direction of Jack Voney, who slipped again. That's his second or third fall of this game already. 
Can't blame it on the cleats, <laughs> they're on skates. The Fusco's got it now for the anchorman. Scotty. Scotty. He takes a wrist shot, glove save there by Manuel. He was, Marco Scotty was 13 last game. He's on the roster, roster as 29. 29. I'd Tobias is taking the face off. But Anchorman loses it to the Warrior, but quickly gets it back. Scotty tried getting it back into the middle. Conway good, good, did a nice shot there, needed to get that right because there are two Warriors converging on that open puck. It would have been a two on one. Anchorman slowing it down. This dangerous line on the ice Lyman, Tobias, Warnock. Already seen, a, already seen both goals from this line. Correct? Warnock as well as Lyman. I think. We'll double check. We'll, 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 we'll double check <laughs> we'll over get the back break. To you. We know for a fact Alex Lyman scored the last yeah. goal. Yeah. I think you're right. But yeah, it was. No, it was Martin's. Yes, it was Martin's. My bad. Because he didn't do his little Paul Pierce thing. My bad. Sorry. Right. You can't get them all right. No. <laughs> There's too many scores on this team. We can't just pick one. Constantine's got it for Eastcon. Throws one back in the middle. Nearly fell onto the stick of Sam Spellman there. Rebounds, a common theme here. And <laughs> more pushing and shoving. 7.15 here left in the first period. The Anchorman leading two to one. Ryan Martins with the first for the Anchorman. Alex Lyman with the second. Those came after an early goal off the stick of Joseph Angelico for Eastcon. Tobias won the faceoff, drops it off for Conway. Over to Scotty. Tried finding Lyman. He couldn't lock on to it. Just dumped back in by East Con. Conway's got it. Over to Scotty. Cross ice find to Warnock. In the direction of Lyman. A little too strong there with that one. Lyman battling in the corner for it. He's got it. Leaves it off to Warnock. Tried getting one off. Blocked in the middle there. Just a huge pile of bodies yeah. in front of the net. Couldn't get the puck through. Tobias took a shot. Couldn't get it. Couldn't get it through the mass. There you go. Still two to one. Conway tried Conway keeping tried. it in, makes a mistake there. Just a quick oh, break by Eastcon, wrist shot. Good too. save there by Tadino. Called into action there, able to get a, able to get his body in front of it. That was Sam Spellman breaking down the right wing for Eastcon and taking the wrist shot. Might have been better served square in that one. Had a trailer, could have been even right now, but two to one regardless. Nadiger with there a big hit up behind the net. We've seen these teams get physical after the play. I think we're starting to see that physicality seep into the actual play. Mike Young's got it, loses possession of it right as I said that. Fliss battling for it in the corner. Eastcon's got it. Rotkowitz for Eastcon. Eastcon again in one of these periods when they can barely get out of the neutral zone with the puck. Nadiger in the direction of Mora. Moore dumps it off to Martins. All the way to Manuelo. He stopped it for a moment. Mike Young almost got there. Could have been disastrous. Avoided. Fred Mora whips one in. Saved easily by Manuelo. Eastcon just lifts it out of the zone. We're going to get icing called. 5-16 left in this per first period. Sam, what are you thinking so far? what I see I like the physicality that we have going on you don't look at our team and think that we are a physical team and it's showing tonight so I definitely like to see a different side just besides the speed that we have yes haven't seen a lot of Mark Natalizia he was no. key in that first win his speed down the left flank he also got the tying goal against the Roger Williams game too which was big for him his first career goal tied the game with 22 seconds left Julian over to Genster Gems Genster just dumps it in Nadiger Throws it up against the boards. Bonnie's got it. Over to Luther. Larry Anthony, excuse me. Larry Anthony trying to stick handle his way through two defenders there. Taken off of it. Now we got a little more pushing and shoving there. Anthony's in the mix. Chris Pond in there for East Con. This is the third stoppage for, for a little post-action scuffle. I don't know if it's a bad thing to call, but I'm feeling someone getting tossed. Yeah, I'm, probably. I'm, I'm feeling it. I don't know who. 
They've had to talk but to these guys three or four times already in this game. We're not even out of the first period yet. And I Anthony and Pond are going to go to the sin bin. Refs looking to take control of this game again. I don't think this is going to come to an end any, any time soon. No, not at all. But we're going to see this throughout the game. Hockey games only get more physical as the game goes on. Exactly. Two to one here inside the Dennis M. Lynch Arena. Jared Ware, Sam Allen with the call here tonight. Anchorman three, one and one on the year, looking to get their fourth win. Eastcon battling. Poked away there by Natalizia. I was looking for Natalizia earlier, and now he's on the ice. <laughs> Asking you shall there receive. There you go. Corey Watson finds the stick of Walker. Walker tried leaving one for Corey Gabor. Just a little too heavy with that pass. Anchorman just cleared out in the into the neutral zone. Eastcon had a few guys offside. They had to wait for that puck there. See a lot of guys taking falls today. Natalizia just slipped up there. Here comes Eastcon. Wrist shot there, saved by Tadino off the stick of Zach Vitale. It was nearly a trip there in the mm -hmm. corner. Really close. Mass lines, cha li mass <laughs> line change by both teams. Four on four right now. Another minute of this. Again, more guys fighting, more guys put into the penalty box. That's how we got to this situation. Conway's got it for the Anchorman. Conway over to Scotty. Scotty, quick pass, looking in the direction of Jack Voney. Knocked out of play there. That was off the stick of Joseph Mortali for Eastcon. We're going to go to the faceoff circle. Bonnie's in there. Rotkowitz is in there. One by, I'm going to say Rodkowitz won that one. I think so. Ooh. Huge hit. Huge hit by Mako. Ginormous there in the corner. Coach that did was say Scotty. he hits like a bus. You could feel that one yeah. up here. That was giant. Hopefully Nate, Nate Bissell down there in the penalty box. <laughs> Hopefully you got a good angle of that because that was great. We saw Scotty a few times that game against St. Anne's and really lay the wood on some guys in open ice. Tobias is going to take the face off against Rotkowitz. <laughs> Tobias can't win it. Eastcon's got it now. Looking to get something going. Down one. Good open ice check there by the anchorman. That was that was Marco Scotti again. Getting physical with this play here. Both teams raising their level of physicality here in this one. Conway gets it over to Tobias. Warnock's got it. Dumps one in the corner. Tobias is giving chase. Shoved off it there. That was Angelico doing the defending. And now West uh, Eastcon, excuse me, he's got a one-on-one. -on -one. Wrist shot goes high there. Off the stick of Stephen Halleck. Another good opportunity down that right wing by Eastcon. They've had a few of those. Warnock takes it up. He's got Scotty with him. Twisting and turning. Looking for something. Whipped one back towards the goalie. Nearly caught Manuel off guard there unsighted by a defender lucky to get his body in front of that one keeping it two to one 242 left in this first period angelico lost his mouthpiece there throws that bad boy right back in and he's ready to go <laughs> brian martins angelico they're gonna go at it here in the faceoff circle that's gotta taste good <laughs> yeah martins had the cross course pa cross ice pass looking for Cody Warnock. Another shot in there, another save by Tadino. That one was off the stick of, I believe, Sam Spellman. East Con keeps it in their attacking zone. Behind the net. Anchorman is looking to get it out of here. Keep this two to one advantage towards the end of the first period. Lyman's got it. Dumps one for Warnock. Warnock. Skates his way, nearly broke through two defenders there. Got bumped into the goalie, knocks the 
knocks Ooh. the goal off the hinge. That was a stick to the face yes, there. it was. That ref should have seen that. Yeah, he was sitting right there. <laughs> but of course not. And it was a hit after the whistle, uh, but uh, th no. Club hockey ref, this is what we got. Warnock there nearly split two defenders, got the shot off. Good kick save there by Manuel. Martins is in there, Rokowitz is in there for Eastcon. Martin's able to actually take that face off. He's been kicked out of there two on two or three different occasions so far in this first period. Huber's got it, dumps it back in. More tally for Eastcon trying to get it out of their defensive zone. Mora had it in center ice, lost it. Good job by Martins there, getting back, taking possession away. Mora takes the wrist shot, deflected off the stick of an Eastcon defender. Mora's got it in the corner. Cross ice, Huber thought about the shot for a moment, dumps it off, straight pass there. Looking back in the direction of Nick Bruno. Bruno's gonna give chase to this one. Up against the boards over to Huber. Huber intercepted another just lazy pass there. Not lazy, but misdirected. Rokowitz has got it now for Eastcon. One minute left in this first period. We've seen three goals so far, two by the Anchorman, one by Eastcon. Lyman and Martin scored for the Anchorman. Angelico scored for the Warriors. Moore has got it. Looking to keep that away from Ryan Constantine. They got a little physical there. A little bit. Mike Young had a great opportunity, great opportunity on the right wing. Couldn't get it past Manulo. Scotty fires one in low and hard again, deflected on its path. Battle in the corner. Young out front, couldn't get the backhander off. Oh, I thought he had that one. Into the glove of Manulo, and again. Oh, here we go again. Getting into it. I think we should just expect this from now on. A shot, a whistle, some, tu some tussling. Let's see, even the ref said it. There we go. <laughs> And Young's going back to the sin bin along with Mortality. Joseph Mortali. How many times have we seen this today? <laughs> Miners for roughing on both of them. It's gonna stay five on five. They're double miners. Mike Young, Joseph Mortali, they're in the sin bin right now. Ref's looking to take control of this game some way, somehow. Struggling know. at this <laughs> I point. I don't think it'll happen. Mulba Hill attacking down the left wing. Tried skating his way past Marco Scotti. Marco Scotti said no. Now he's taking the attack here. Loses possession. Big hit in the corner there by Scotti. Heard that one. Yes. Bonnie throws one back in the direction of Manulo. Knocks it away from his crease. Scotty there loses possession at center ice. Manuel just had to get a stick on that, and that's the end of the first period. A physical period, but one that the anchorman won, two to one. We're going to step away for a moment, and then we'll have an interview. Sam Allen's going to bring that to you. Jared Ware, Sam Allen, Anchor TV's presentation of Rick Club Hockey. Stick with us. Sam Allen here along with head coach Chris Gwynn. All right, Chris, this is a new team to your division. Did you hear anything about the team coming into tonight's game? Uh, with this team, actually, we had no insight whatsoever. They've only played one game. They're brand new to the conference. Um, so to, to really get like any type of sense, it had to be on the ice when we started. What's your sense now after that first period? <laughs> Uh, they're actually they're playing well. We are not playing well at all. We had th we didn't come out with our game. Um, we were slow, a little too methodical in what we were doing, and they were reading the plays very well and intercepting. What are you hoping to see next period that your team <laughs> will change a little bit? Uh, energy, <laughs> energy is is going to be key. We're bi we're built up for speed. We have to be up yeah. and down the ice, and we're not doing that tonight. We look very uh, lethargic out there right now. There you go. All right, well, I'll go let you talk to the team, change Kay. some things up. We'll see how it goes in the second period. All right, we'll be back in one moment with more Rick Hockey. Back inside the Dennis M. Lynch Arena, Anchor TV's presentation of Rick Hockey, Jared Ware, and Sam Allen in the booth. We're here at a 2-1 to one game right now. The Anchorman fell behind early in this one. Two goals in succession gave them the lead here. One through Ryan Martins, one through Alex Lyman. 
Sam, what would you think of the first period? I didn't think the first period was that bad, but after talking to Coach yeah. Chris in between periods, now I'm thinking a little differently. I don't know. I don't have the coach's perspective. I don't know what I told the team before the game like yep. they do. So to me, it just looked a little bit physical, but we kept the puck down in our on our um, offensive end for a while. So I don't know. We'll see. Coach not happy with the way they came out, played into the hands of EastCon is basically what he was saying during that interview. Wants to see the guys going, getting that speed out in the open ice, which would be fun to see because this game at times has been a little bit of, of a slog, a little bit of a, fit, uh, of a of a bar fight, and we have literally seen <laughs> some punches thrown in this game so we far. Have. What, what do you think the anchor need to, anchormen need to do here in this second period to extend this lead? They need to calm down. I've been with this team. This is now the second year I've been covering them. And in years past, when the game has started off like this, the second period has resulted in people getting thrown out. And it, they need to calm down or it's going to get ridiculous. I agree with you there. I think they're a better team than this EastCon team. Yeah, if they make mental sure. mistakes, though, they can, they, uh, they'll allow EastCon back into it. First lineup, Tobias, Lyman, Warnock on the ice, Conway and Scotty as well for the anchorman. Eastcon throwing out their starting lineup as well. Halleck, Walker, Gabor, Fliss, as well as Corey Watson. And a broken stick, broken stick for Tobias. Halleck's got it now for Eastcon, takes the slap shot, misses wide. Warnock picks the puck up in the corner, lost possession of it, gets it back. He's going to start things up. Let's see if the players heed the advice of the coaches. Things probably got heated down there. Yeah. Warnock's got it now. Dumps it off, slap shot, deflected. That came off the stick of Brian Luther. Puck out front, loose, there and Luther puts it home. Another rebound into the slot. Luther pokes it home, three to one anchorman. I don't know what the coaches told them. But it worked. But yeah, yep, exactly. <laughs> we may see six to one here again, which would be unbelievable. Ryan Luther with the goal. Looking down at our stats here, this might be his first goal of the year. No, it's not. It's not. It's his third goal of the year. Tobias is going to take the face off, wins it. Luther has really stepped up his scoring this year, I have to say. Good for him. Good goal there. Good awareness, good instincts in the slot. Johnny on the spot, puts it home. Lyman's got it now. He's already got one in this game as well. Good job there by Huber lifting the stick of the EastCon. EastCon player gets possession of it. Lyman now dumps it in. Vitaly's got it, pressed by Tobias. This is Orr with it, or, Bre or excuse me, Eddie Dorr. We can call him Orr. Or door, <laughs> same thing. Luther giving chase here. He just scored. He gets no. Good job there, tracking oh. back by Vitali. Gets the hit. Up here, looked like it went in. I'm gonna have to disagree with you there. That's My right. bad. Natalizia, over <laughs> over to Luther. I'm the blind one. It's okay. Huber pops the shot, misses wide right. Kept in nicely. That was Martinelli. Martinelli again. Just looking to clear things. Stop Eastcon from getting their attack going. Natalizzi again. Tracking back. Looking for the stick of Luther. Luther wants another one. He got one. <laughs> looking, for, looking for two in succession here. Really extend this lead here. Put Eastcon out of it. Right now. The Warriors are on the ropes. They're on life support right now. <laughs> Nearly an opportunity there for Constantine. Ooh. Huge hit there. Constantine nails Martinelli into the boards behind the net. Not the biggest hit of the night. We already saw a huge one from Scotty right below us. Whistle there. Forgot Mike Young. I know. <laughs> Forgot Mike Young and Joseph Mortali were in the box from the first period. Oh, look, there's someone going to the box. I'm thinking for the Constantine, hit on. Constantine, that'll be boarding. Yep. So a power play here for the anchorman. Oh. I wonder if they're calling it a hit from behind and getting him tossed. 
I think they are. He's out of here. Brian Constantine ejected. He looks confused. He doesn't know what he did. He's going to have to go take he'll, – he'll hit the showers early. <laughs> Taking his place in the box is Bruce Cutcomp. I think Eastcon has had a player in the penalty box Most of the game. for like 85% of the game so far. Only their second game of the season. We heard that in that interview, which is interesting. No tape on them. Anchorman looking to adjust. They've taken the three to one lead. So it looks like things are working here. It's Tobias tried to get one into the middle in the direction of Alex Lyman. Tobias still has it. Lost possession of it. All the way to the stick of Tadino. Leaves it for Mora. Mora waiting behind the net. Huber now over to Warna, or uh, Tobias, excuse me. Solid hit there at center ice by Mulva Hill. East Con tried clearing it there. Martins gets a gloves on it, gets a glove on it, knocks it down. Mora off the boards to Huber. Another solid hit by Eastcon in the neutral zone. Matt Julian with that one. Warnock's got it on the left wing now. Rister, believe that was deflected on the way. Martins keeps it in. Trying to get it over to Lyman. Morris got it. Scotty keeps it in. Rister in the direction of Warnock. Look for the first for the one timer. Couldn't get a stick on it. Now he's looking for Lyman. That's been the major connection for the anchorman. Warnock and Lyman together. They've been devastating. Scotty couldn't keep All it set. in there. Three to one here inside the Dennis M. Lynch Arena. Anchorman settling into this one, especially in the second period. They got ripped into allegedly by their coaching staff. Sixteen oh eight here. Still three thirty seven for uh, on the power play here for the anchorman. That was a five minute major and an ejection. It was a five minute hit from behind game misconduct. That's the word from down in the box. Brian Constantine, the one who hit the showers early. Conway's got it down the left for the anchorman, looking towards the middle, looking in the direction of Brian Luther. Young's got it now. Drops one off for Martins. Martins up against the board. Young couldn't keep it in. Goes cross ice to Scotty. Scotty was looking for Martins. Scotty wrists one in. Martins tried to cut inside there. Just redirected into the net. Couldn't. Conway up top to Scotty. Scotty at wrister. Scramble in there. Manuel has to fall back on it. I think he kept it out of there. Pushing, shoving, oh conversations <laughs> going on here. Not asking each other uh, for a cup of coffee. A cup of coffee after the game. It's never good to see Martins in the middle of two opposing players telling them, "Come at me." He's con protecting their goalie there. Give him credit. Yes. Got to protect the guy between the pipes. Two forty-eight left on the power play for the Anchorman after the game misconduct by Brian Constantine. Three to one here. Anchorman have settled into this one. Scotty off the boards. Rose giving chase. Eastcon gets it out of there. Nick Bruno slows it up behind the net. Now the Anchorman are going to bring it out. Looking to take advantage of the. Uh, the main advantage that they have now. Nadiger. Wrist shot there oh. in the slot. Good save there by Manuel. That was off the stick of Larry Anthony. Have the Warriors been full strength at all this period? No. Okay. Nope. Rose went cross ice in the direction of Jack Boney. Big Ooh. hit. On the far side, Eddie Dore lays a man out. Another good hit in the crease there. Believe that was Spencer Rose laying the wood on Corey Watson. Physical game. These two teams don't like each other. No. This is going to be good. 
They do not like each other at all. We already have a strong rivalry with them in the Little League, so <laughs> add another team to that rivalry. The anchormen need to know here, keep your heads. You have the, you have the advantage on the scoreboard. Things stay the way they are. You're going to win this one. Tobias fires a wrist shot into the chest of Manuelo. Get into this portion of the game. East Con. Tempers flaring. Going to look to draw you in and make stupid mental mistakes. Still one minute and 30 seconds here. Man advantage for the anchorman. Warnock. Lays it off in the corner, up top to Huber. Huber cross ice. Moore has got it now. Surveying the landscape back to Huber. Wrist shot through a crowd. Good job there by Manuelo getting a uh, getting a getting a kick save in there. Huber. Mora. Good job moving the puck by the anchorman. Wrist shot by Mora into the chest of Manuelo. Rebound gets goes behind the net. Warnock. Taking the wrist shot from really no angle. Good save by Manuelo. Always had that post covered there, but you miss 100% of the shots that you don't take. There you go. Wayne Gretzky. <laughs> One of the best sports quotes of all time. Great life quote. Yeah, don't there, just there you go. I like don't just pigeon toe that into, into sports. You can use that in your life all the time. Very true. Martins wins the faceoff for the anchorman. Scotty tried getting it in. Good job there. Stepping in front of that by Pat Mulvahill for EastCon, but he loses possession. Just a directed little pass there from Larry Anthony. Scotty up against the boards. Martin's got it in the corner. Martin's trying to work a little interchange there with, I believe that was Larry Anthony. A little one two. Conway. He's looking in the direction of Mike Young, who again has been quiet, uncharacteristically right. quiet for Mike Young. Get a stop at the play there as the puck went out of play off the ceiling. Low ceiling in here. <laughs> it's a fun fact for you. For those of you at home who can't see it. <laughs> Martin's taking the face off against Matt Julian. 20 seconds left on the man advantage for the anchorman. Looking to extend this lead to three. They're up three to one right now. Love to really put this game away early. Bouncing puck falls to Conway. He puts it into the corner. I think that's Mart or yeah, that's Martin's down there in the corner. All right, let's see how quickly East Con can get another penalty. Back to full strength here. Here's <laughs> Julian down the right wing, takes a shot, misses high and wide. Glove side. You're not beating Tadino glove side, I'll tell you that no, much. Never. Ryan Martins has got it. We're going to start the break. He's going to take the slap shot. Nearly found that bottom right corner. Just missed wide. We had a great angle behind that one. Just missed. Mm -hmm. Young leaves it in the middle. Good bit of movement there by, Von, uh, by Vanny. Got into the slot. Good little bit of interplay here. A little better job. One, uh, one twos in the attacking half from the anchorman. Getting a little more creative with the puck. Spencer Rose giving chase to that one. Couldn't get to it. Sloppy pass there off the stick of Max Walker. Walker's got it right back at center ice. Skates to his left. Fires one in the direction of Tadino. Keeps it out. Gets a kick. Gets the old uh, little kick save in there. <laughs> what, do you, what do you call the pads that they got on their legs? What's the word for those? Uh, Leg pads? Uh, knee? No, they're not knee pads. Okay, I'm okay we'll, we'll Google that at some point. Google it. It's the old big leg pad on it. <laughs> I don't know what the word is. There's, there has to be a word. Big old leg pad. Big uglies. <laughs> I like it. Somewhere there's a hockey enthusiast. Like, all right. Get it right. Anyways, Walker's got it now in the corner for East Con. Battle there up against the board. Walker, Rose, looking to get possession. Backhand shot across the face of goal. Off the stick of Corey Gabor. No one there to sweep it home for East Con. Puck gets all the way to Tadino. Does a nice job kicking that one away. Yeah, I think they're just called leg pads. Yeah, that's not awesome. It's not fun. I'm calling them the big uglies from I now like on. I like it. Another shot there off the stick of Walker. Couldn't direct it on net. Bonnie's got it now. Left one in front of the crease there. 
believe that was Larry Anthony crashing. Couldn't get his stick on it. Little collision here right below us. Nadiger knocked down. Martinelli's got it for the Anchorman now. Passes one up to Warnock. Warnock loses possession of it. Good job there by Eddie Doerr getting back, putting some pressure on him. Martinelli now for the Anchorman. In the direction of Warnock, got it to him. Had to lift that pass. Miscommunication there between Tobias and Warnock there. And then Manuel almost just loses control <laughs> of that soft puck rolling to him. That yeah, would have been nice. Tobias oh, was given a chase. A little in the middle. I'm in shock. Chris Pond has been doing a <laughs> lot of yapping for he East Pond. He's already been in the sin bin. Every time he comes on, comes on the ice, seems to be an altercation there. Tobias battling in the faceoff circle against Joseph Angelico. He scored for the for East Pond. That seems like ages ago, a lifetime <laughs> ago. Was in the first minute and 20 seconds of this game. Yep. We come to the Lynch, we do a game, there's a goal in the first two minutes. Just facts. It's just a pattern. Tobias and Angelico. Tobias is going to win that face off. Warnock tried jamming a shot in there, couldn't get it through the traffic. Eastcon trying to get it out, they do. Angelico's pass deflected off the stick of Tobias. He was looking for door. Martinelli gets rid of it. Fliss has got it now for Eastcon. Big hit Big there. Hit. Cody Warnock. Wow. That definitely had to hurt. Oh, yeah. Martinelli. Uh, Bissell right down there. That was felt right that in front one. of George. I mean, Nathan, Nathan. Bissell. <laughs> Being a cameraman is not easy. No. It's not all lollipops no. and rainbows. Sometimes you got to get right in the middle of a huge hit. That's why we have the former hockey player down there. Lyman's got it now at center ice or in the neutral zone. Lyman's got it again. Solid hit there by Dorr on Martinelli. Warnock tried to get the slapper off Puddin. Good job there oh. by Mortali getting oh in the God. way of that one. A little more pushing and shoving. Boys will be boys. Ref's got no hesitation there sending no. Warnock to the sin bin as well as Mortali. Mortali's been in the penalty box a few times. Mortali actually started the period in the penalty box. Yes. Discussion here at center ice. Oh, and Nadiger goes in the box. All right. I don't know what Nadiger did. <coughs> I right, just trying to figure things out. They're going to go take a face off down on our defensive zone. Still taking a little while to figure things out. Oh, and we go to the other side of the ice. Looks like we have the NFL <laughs> replacement refs here. We got <laughs> things figured out. Martins and Julian took that face off. Julian wins it. Runs all the way to Tadino. Gets it on the stick of Mike Young. Flicks it into the attacking zone. Mora giving chase. East Con now looking to get something going. They really haven't been in this period at all. No. Whatever the it. coaches told the anchorman in between periods has really helped. Mora, good bit of play there. Got it over to Young. He pulled the shot a little wide, though. Conway back defending. Julian attacking for the Warriors. Big hit. Big hit by Conway. Conway with a nice hip check. Julian across the boards. Rokowitz got a stick on it. Loses it, though, after another big collision. Bodies flying everywhere <laughs> right now. <laughs> Stolen away by Marco Scotti. Julian's got it. Dumps it off. <laughs> Mulvihill's got it. Mora was lining Mulvihill up in the open ice. That would have been a big hit if he would have gone for it. <laughs> Wrote to Witz. Throws it off the board. Scotty's got it now at center ice for the anchorman. He dumps it into the attacking zone. Taken down by Wrote to Witz. Scotty slips, <laughs> loses possession. Is the ice have bumps in it today? I just don't understand. Julian on the right wing. 
Cuts inside a one man. Good job of Mora getting across, doing a little bit of defending there. Mora was a defenseman in high school. So he has best of both. He's worlds. been playing a little bit of both actually throughout the game. Some shifts he's been playing as a defenseman, some he's been as a forward. Yeah. Versatility. It's always good to have. Same with Brad Conway. He can play both. Sedino wraps a glove around that puck, got lifted up. Fell nicely into his glove. 7.33 left here in the second period. 3-1, to one. Anchorman with the lead here. Eastcon struggling to get into this one in this period. Whatever Coach Gwynn and Coach Cal said in between periods during the intermission, as you said, is really working mm -hmm. here. We're seeing much more clean hits, not just those dirty, I'm just going to hit you because hits. Better hockey game. So uh, Bourne Luther going to take the face off here. Go ahead. So I'm trying to figure out what's going on. Talking to someone here. on the bench. Puck falls to Eastcon. They get a quick backhand off to Dino. Covers it up. That was Walker with the backhand right in front of the net. To Dino, as usual, solid. Gave up that early goal since then. He's been on point. Face off one by Luther. Huber across the boards. Jack Voney's got it. Eastcon slowing it up. Corey Watson. Little collision there between Halleck and Luther. Walker's got it now for Eastcon. Dumps it off in the direction of Halleck. Pulls the shot wide. Shot there, saved. Kick saved by Tudino up front. Then he covers it up. Oh, here we go again. It's all about protecting your goalie. Gabor took the initial shot. Kicked away by Tudino. He covered it up. Extracurricular activities. Spencer Rose is going to take the face off here with Bruce Cutcom. <laughs> Haven't <laughs> seen much of Cutcom throughout the game today. One of the great names when you look at the roster for the game. Usually some great names. Cutcom is definitely one of them. Bliss has got it. Looking in the direction of Bruce Cutcomp. Cutcomp with the slap shot wide. If there was anyone for Eastcom we wanted to score was Bruce Cutcomp. And there's a goal. Speak of the devil. <laughs> Sam Spellman lifts the wrist shot into the top of the, ro uh, the roof of the net. Three to two here. Things you just got interesting. You can't mention Eastcom getting May. goals. Yes, May. Like, you just May. can't. I can mention Rick getting goals. It'll happen. I just... I don't know. Three to two here inside the Dennis M. Lynch Arena. Cutcomp's going to get the assist there. Spellman with the goal. So things just got interesting here. The anchormen were dominating the period, staying out of trouble. Just like that, it's a one goal game. Big, th big hit there by Cutcomp on Mora. Mora's getting into it. Oh my God. Sticks flying around. Mora still going at it. Cut comps in there. Ref's looking to get in there. Mora's going to go into the penalty box. We're going to get a little more pushing and shoving there. Well, the kid's standing in the way. I kind of would hit him, too. Bliss blocking the <laughs> penalty box. <laughs> I mean, Bliss dude, is going to go in. <laughs> Cut comps going to go in. Mora's going to go in. Oh, this game. Maybe we won't be interviewing a coach after this period. All the action is in the penalty boxes these periods. We should have some nice words going back and forth this time in the box. I'm excited. Good little bit of fisticuffs there. Jack Johnson and Tom O'Leary getting after it on the ice there. That's <laughs> an old school heavyweight boxing reference. I don't fisticuffs? know if anyone's going to get it. <laughs> no. Fisticuffs? <laughs> no, 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 not. This is interesting. I have still to still looking to object. We got sticks all over the place. <laughs> who sticks? Who? People are handing sticks out. <laughs> How long has Mortali been in the box? <laughs> I forgot he was there. Yeah. <laughs> I thought he was out on a whistle. It's been many. Nads, I think, is still in the box. Maybe? Or is he over there? I don't know. <laughs> I can't. 
take it anything. Oh, Cody, Warnock's still in the box. I don't know. They're just dumping guys in there. They're just like, oh, you threw a punch, you're going to go in there. You can get sent. Did you hear that? Kid wants to get sent off the ice. Fine by us. It's a whole game. Picking up some Eastcon. Eastcon players talking in the old box there. It's always interesting just to listen in. Just explaining the situation. There you go. Instead most of, of us doing it, we'll have them do it for you. Most of it is just guys defending their teammates as they get into it. That was a little, a little he was choking more. Yeah, well, it happens. It had? <laughs> Physical game. <laughs> All right. Back to the action after about a 30-minute break. <laughs> Martin's in the face-off circle against Corey Gabor. Trying to count out who's on the ice. It's five on four right now. The anchormen have the advantage. M Martins gets kicked from the faceoff circle. Oh, shock. Luther's going to step in for him. I'm Luther. interested to see what all the calls are on that one. Tadino hands it off to Scotty. Still 619 left in this period, if you were wondering. Pass behind Conway. Conway dumps it off to Young. Young hands it off to Martins. Martins got it down in the corner. Skating behind the net. Goes up top to Scotty. He's going to rip. Nope. nope. Pulls back on it. Wrist shot. Deflected off the elbow of Luther. Back to Scotty up top. Wrist one in again. Kicked away. Luther with the rebound. Knocked around. Uh, Mike Young nearly redirected it in. Conway wrist shot. Deflected off Gabor. Conway's got it across to Scotty. Scotty over to Young. Young looking to just direct one into the corner. Rebound wouldn't fall to Ryan Martins in front of the net. Walker's got it now. Walker with the slap shot saved by Tadino. Good opportunity there, wasted by Eastcon. They're looking to get themselves right back into this. It's three to two at the moment. Luther's got it. Slows it up, looking cross ice to Conway, and that gets knocked out of play. Warnock out of the penalty box, and also Mortali out of the penalty box. Again, some updates from downstairs in the press box. Apparently, Bruce Cutcomp has two two-minute penalties and a 10-minute game misconduct for his tussle there with Mora. Okay. One of many. Tobias wins the faceoff. Huber had it, dumped it off back to Tobias. Bruno whips it up against the boards. I believe that's Lyman. Lyman tried to drop one in the direction of Warnock. Warnock's got it in the corner. Aims one in the direction of Lyman, and Lyman puts oh. it home first time. How many times have we heard this? <laughs> Cody Warnock to Alex Lyman. Alex puck Lyman in the back now of the has head. seven goals on the season in five, so this is a sixth game. Could have two hat tricks in two anchor hey, TV appearances. Hey. Could, could, maybe. Uh, you've, been the, you've been the curse all game, I don't know. I have confidence in Alex <laughs> Lyman as a player to overcome. I definitely do too. The announcer's curse and, and hopefully get another one there, but. Oh, here we go again, we're talking. We talked about a pregame, this line of Tobias, Warnock, and Lyman just a bountiful harvest of goals from those guys, and they Ooh. keep it going in this one. I like that. I might I steal that from you. I know big words. <laughs> it's kind <laughs> of my thing. I might steal that from you. Throw it in my article. Huber's got it. Got it over to Tobias, looking in the direction of Warnock. More tally out of the penalty box and on the ice. Goes across, goes across the ice in the direction of Vitali. Stolen by Lyman out front. Lyman in the direction of Warnock. <laughs> Nearly got that one to go good. Save there by Manuelo. He, I don't think Manuel knew where the puck was. Had no idea. Mora Those also has two two-minute penalties and a 10-minute game misconduct. And also Devin Fliss with a 10-minute game misconduct. So they're just going to make themselves a little happy home down there for a little while. There's all of our updates for you. Ten minutes in the penalty box. That's awful. <laughs> Grab a drink. Take a seat. Take a little breather. Tobias wins the face off. Huber throws it off the boards. 
Watson got across, threw it up against the boards. Julian's got it, loses possession of it. Huber now skating his way through center ice, stolen away. Lyman's got it now for the anchorman. He's going to bring it into the attacking half, looking in the direction of Warnock. Tried to split the two defenders, couldn't. Warnock's got it now behind the net. Over to Tobias, back up top to Bruno, slap shot, rebound, Lyman, shot, no, missed wide. Tobias picks up the loose puck. Up top to Bruno, over to Tobias. Tobias wrist shot into the chest of Manuelo. Bruno keeps it in. Anchorman keep the pressure on here. Out front to Lyman. War Lyman just couldn't control that. Good find though by Warnock. Julian brings it up the right wing. Drops one off for Genster. He lost possession of it there. Julian gets a stick lifted there. Good job by Huber getting back defensively. Genster. Gonna have a whistle here. Didn't see who that was on. Julian. And that's gonna be on Mark, or Matt Julian, excuse me. I don't think there's room. Got half the team in the penalty <laughs> box, half the team on the bench. Reminds me of some uh, Bruins Canadians games I've seen in the past. Martins and Gabor in the circle. One by Martins. Conway over to Scotty. Scotty in front to Martins. Backhand pulled wide. Tadino's got it. Conway now for the anchorman. Pass over to Scotty. Scotty's going to bring it up. Slap shot saved into the chest of Manuelo, and he covers it up. That was a rip. That was. From Marco Scotti. Four to two here inside the Dennis M. Lynch Arena. Anchorman with the lead over the Warriors. Two from Alex Lyman again, putting on a great performance in front of the cameras. Coach is going to want us here at every game if he plays like that. Right. Luther's got it now at center ice. Over to Young. Conway giving chase into the corner, corner battling at, with Rotkowitz for it. Conway again. Diving effort there by Scotty to keep it in. Missed it. Tadino's got it for the anchorman. 220, 220 left in this period. Nearly a mistake there by the anchorman. Gabor couldn't get a shot off. Good job defensively there, getting back by the anchorman. Chris Pond behind the net for the Warriors. Open ice here for Halleck. Pass was a little, little too heavy. We're getting an icing called there. Rose on the ice, Larry Anthony on the ice, Mark, uh, Mike Young, excuse me, Marco Scotti, he's heading in the direction of the bench. Conway also out on the ice for the anchorman. Oh, Martins is going in the box to join the party. Ryan's is going to join Mora as well as our cameraman Nate Bissell <laughs> in the Anchorman penalty box. Nate Bissell has had people in there with him all night long. Anchorman pick it up behind the net. Anthony's got it. Tries to skate it out of the zone. Nearly lost possession there to Eddie Dore, who would have had, had a shot there right in front of the net. Larry Anth Anthony with some moves. Anthony and Natalizia combining. Natalizia with the wrist shot. Kicked away by Manuelo. <laughs> Warnock's got it now for the anchorman. Warnock going coast to coast. Centers one in the direction oh. of Larry Anthony. Can't direct it on target. Good bit of play, though, down the right from Cody Warnock. Back in, deflected off the stick of Anthony. Caught Manuelo out of position for a moment, but he's able to dive back on top of it. The Warriors, Julian, now out of the box. He was just in there for two minutes. Still half the team in there. Yeah, they're still, they're still yapping down there, too. <laughs> Never going to get over this. Yeah. 
Bonnie and Angelico are going to take this face off. Bonnie's going to win it. Couldn't get a shot off in front of the net. Warriors have it now. Zach Vitale skates with it. Passes it up to Angelico, the goal, one of the two goal scorers tonight for the Warriors. Good bit of puck handling there by Spellman. He scored the other. Angelico's got it in the corner. Try getting it over to Eddie Dorr. Dorr had a great opportunity earlier in this game. Spellman. Dorr. Oh, had wow. That would have been a good shot. Had Angelico on the doorstep. Good job there by Martinelli getting in the way, lifting that stick, not allowing that shot to get off. 15 seconds left in this period. Martinelli may be little, but he's one of our good defensemen. Another Size does not matter. Angelico had possession of it, tried getting the backhand, tried directing it into the corner of the net, couldn't. Shot by Spellman, finds the chest of Tadino. Late pressure here by the Warriors, but too little, too late. Hi, so we're going to go into the second intermission, the anchorman up 4-2, to two, another eventful period. Not sure if we're going to have an interview or not, but we're going to step away for a moment here on Anchor TV. Jared Ware and Sam Allen covering Rick Hockey. Sam Allen here along with Rhode Island College Assistant Coach Anthony Calcione. We've had a lot. The Warriors have been in the penalty box most of this period. How has your team felt about that? How do you think your team's played with them being a man down? Well, they've taken us with them most of the time, which is killing us. Um, you actually don't like being on the power play all period or penalty kill because I have kids that don't play power play or penalty kill, and they're not getting out there, so now they're cold. In terms of power play, the power play's clicking. Uh, I wasn't happy that we only scored on a five-minute power play, but... Um, Power plays kick in and penalty kill, knock on wood, so far all season it's been lights out. So that's the only plus so far. Hey, what are you hoping to see in the third period? Uh, the team I coach show up. There you go. All right, I think he said that in probably one of our shortest interviews ever, but he wrapped it up very, very, very nice. All right, Cal, good luck next period. Hopefully you guys keep <laughs> up this win. Thank you. Thank you. We'll be right back with the final period of Anchorman Hockey. Back inside the Dennis M. Lynch Arena, Jared Ware, Sam Allen here for Rick Hockey with a huge, big lead, 4-2 to two, over the Eastern Connecticut Warriors. And, this, uh, Warriors. and this has been a story, a game, all about physicality and trips to the penalty box. <laughs> Sam, what are you, what are you, uh, how did you feel about that second period? We had Coach Gwynn come up here, said he was going to light a fire under the butts of these guys. They came out and played pretty well. Eastcon got one back on them. The anchorman able to respond. What did you think of the second period? I definitely thought it was a lot cleaner, and we actually were seeing some of the s actual skills behind the team. But as, Co uh, as Cal said in between the second and this period, he wants to see the team that he put together at the beginning of the year actually come out. They didn't put together a hard-hitting, let's fight all the time team. They put together a team of speed that can score. So I don't know. I kind of miss that team. I hope to see them in this period with the physicality because I like that part of hockey. Interesting insight there, too, that they don't like playing at long long portions of a period on the yeah, power no. play because you have certain lineups and some guys aren't in and they're getting pulled on the bench. That was interesting. I, I, I thought I that was great insight. You don't think about that no. being up here with us. Not at all. Refs here talking over. I think that's – I believe they're talking to Vitaly. Just trying to figure out, I think, who has what time left, who's getting out when. It's been a long time since it's Mora, yeah. and um, I don't even remember who's in the box for them who hit Mora. Mora, and I believe Fliss is in there. I think or so. Or he was in there. I don't know. They're all sitting down now. Gabor and Tobias are going to take the face off here to start the third period. The anchorman with a 4-2 to lead. Tobias wins it. Shovels it back to Scotty. Scotty in possession. Warriors have it. Halleck flicks it in the attacking zone. Walker giving chase. He dives for it. Conway now. Conway across the boards to Tobias. Over to Lyman. Lyman, two goals in this game. Anchorman working patiently. Pre four check here by Eastcon. Anchorman get away from it. Warnock's got it on the left. 
Lyman was crashing the net, wanted Warnock to feed him. Warnock's got it now, thought about it, wrist shot across the face. Lyman knocks it back to Scotty. Uh. Miss hit that one, a little too much ice there. Tried to really rip that one. Puck stuck underneath <laughs> Corey Watson and he just slapped it away at one point. I think he lost his stick. Dino handles it, leaves it off for Conway. Conway loses it. Warriors, puck got yeah. center there into the skate of Angelico, who has one of the goals for the Warriors tonight. A good opportunity wasted. Couldn't get the puck on the blade. Warnock's got it now for the anchorman. Comes out of the middle. Wrist one over to Manuel. Line change here for the anchorman. Huber knocks it back in. Larry Anthony's giving chase. TJ Jackvoni's got it in the corner now for the anchorman. Tried dumping it off down low to Anthony. Couldn't get to him. Spellman breaking away with it for the Warriors. He loses it he underneath loses his it feet. With Huber staying right on his tail. Ryan Huber's played a great game so far in Definitely. defense. Stolen there. We're going to get an offsides call as Spellman couldn't get back in time. And Eddie Dore took it across the blue line. Two minutes into this period, and we haven't seen a penalty. That's a first. You just jinxed us. Probably. <laughs> Can we still have guys in the box? Julian and Anthony battling for that one. Anthony's got it. Tried shoveling it up to Jack Boney. Warriors looking to get it clear. Can't. Anthony giving chase to that puck. Warriors have got it now. A little collision there at center ice. Martinelli as well as Vitali going, getting into it. Watson over to Vitali. Puck goes out of play. We're going to have a face off here. It's a slow, boring start to the uh, right? compared to what we've Come been on. seeing tonight. A little slower, a little more composed, a little I mean, more controlled it's here. It's probably what the coaches want, but as fans, like, I don't know. Anchorman just need to play smart, as they said, stay out of trouble, two goal lead, be aware. We're staying out of more trouble than the Warriors. We have yet to get a game misconduct, knock on wood. Wrist shot into the chest, I think that Anchorman thought that one got in and hit off it the chest did. of Manulo. Deflected up over his head. The Anchorman are celebrating. I think they're going to give it to him. Let's see here. We're still waiting for official word. I believe the goal the goal would go to Spencer Rose. I believe so. Double check. And it, it is five to five to two right now. Spencer Rose credited with the goal there. That's his first of the year. Not a lot of pomp and circumstance around that goal, but they all count. <laughs> exactly. Five to two, three goal lead here for the Anchorman. The Warriors are going to have to do something special here if they have any chance of winning this one. Walker's got it now, and he loses possession. Scotty, it's on his blade. Gonna have a penalty That'd here. That'd be a penalty on Scotty for tripping. On S Marco <laughs> Scotty. That was obvious. There was no hiding that one. So he's gonna go to the sin bin for two, and the Warriors are gonna be on the po the power play here. Need a goal. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. They want to get back into this one. They need a goal here and now. And the Warriors gained possession Walker's after they won the faceoff. Walker's got it in the corner. Puck ended up wow. out front, nearly found. Good Corey job by DeBoer. Nick Bruno helping out Vinny Tadino. Whoa. Halleck and the boards, they get to meet each other a little <laughs> bit. That's going to sting. Vitaly's got it looking in the direction of Walker. Walker battling with Jack Boney. Collision there with, I believe, that was Bruno. Bruno. Watson over to Halleck. Halleck skates past Huber, gets, him, gets himself into the corner. Huber recovers. Still a battle between those two. 
Hit in the corner from Watson. I believe Watson's got it now for Eastcon. Four guys in the corner right now, duking it out for possession. <laughs> and now we wait. Puck finally emerges onto the stick of Bruno. Eastcon's got it, Spellman. Behind the net, Huber lurking, pokes it away from Spellman. Spellman keeps it in, drops it off for Watson, back to Spellman, wrist shot, no. Into the glove of Tadino. There we go. That glove, it's, I think we should coin it the magic glove. Coach Cal talking about the penalty kill this year and how solid it's been. This one looking pretty good here, 37 seconds left with the man advantage for the Warriors. Angelico is going to take the face off. Whistle here. Just working out these penalties here. It's getting <laughs> confusing. Guys yeah. in for 10, guys in for 5, guys in for 2. Need to be a math major to figure that all <laughs> out. Doris got it in the corner. Across here to Vitaly. More, more tally, excuse me. That was off of the leg pads, as we're calling them, of any Big to be up into the corner. <laughs> Out of play here, so Warnock and Angelico set to take the face off here. And we're still discussing things. Fliss is back on the ice. He had a 10 minute, 10 minute penalty in the last period, rolled over to the beginning of this period. Now he's back on the ice. So confusing. 15 22 left in the third period here. 5 to 2. Anchorman with the lead. Been working out penalties for the last minute or so. <laughs> Still trying to figure <laughs> this it is out. So, oh my God. I took a look at the sheet when I was down there earlier. They're actually running out of space to put penalties. That's how many penalties we've had this game. There's about five lines left with the whole period to go. Anchorman, though, this won't bother them. Just looking to get out of here. Stay, stay in the lead here. Stay in control of this one. Yep. <laughs> Discussions ongoing. Negotiations. <laughs> Math being figured out. Who got in at what time? Who's supposed to go out when? Oh, it looks like Moore actually is out. So Moore is out. Who knows how long if he could have been yeah, out if for. If Fliss <laughs> was out, Moore, Moore should have been, been out. out. Well, yeah. they went in at the same time for 10 apiece. Yes. So Moore escapes back to the bench. Still ongoing discussions. Marco Scotti's in there in the Anchorman penalty box. We also have Bruce Cutcomp in the penalty box. Oh, I forgot about for him. East Con. Huh. When did he go in? He went in uh, oh, last period, late, late last period. Oh, okay. <laughs> we have a discussion here between the ref, Cutcomp, and scorekeeper. Scorekeeper all talking it out. <laughs> this is a great angle we have here, this three-man negotiations. Oh, there we go. Here, let's let's listen in. <laughs> Gotta be a math person. <laughs> Just let them all out. Okay. All right, you heard the ref, just <laughs> let them all out. <laughs> little backyard rule there. <laughs> just reset it, redo it. <laughs> That's the way you roll on the playground. That's where we're rolling right now. When you have about a 1,000 penalties in two and a half periods, it's yeah. the way you roll. Back to the action now. Face off one by the anchorman. Warnock's got possession. Lyman to his left. Two Warnock on is speeding down the ice. Wrist shot deflected <laughs> off of Fliss. That would have been a shot if he was coming in with that speed. Lyman was lurking at the back post. He wants his hat trick. <laughs> Warnock's going to take the face off here against Angelico. Wins it. Gets the wrist shot in on Manuelo. Saved. Covered up. 15-10 left in this game. Man advantage right now for the Warriors. Tony Warnock doesn't care. He's still going to try <laughs> and score. 
Warnock wrist shot into the chest uh, of Manulo, deflected out front. With this line out, you wouldn't even be able to tell that they were, but we're a man down. Slung in there off the stick of Roshak. Cross ice pass picked up by Eddie Dore. <laughs> he throws it up against the boards. Roshak across the boards to Warnock. Warnock nearly had his pass intercepted there by Angelico. Back to full strength here for the anchorman. Up oh, and Cut Comp is now officially coming out of the box. Cut Comp coming up. So everyone's out of everyone's the box. Out. Party's over. We're done. Shutting that door. Hopefully no one goes back yeah, in here. Things okay. are getting confusing. <laughs> Julian and Tobias in the circle. One by the Warriors. Shots coming in off the stick of Chris Pond. Kicked away by Tadino. Warnock knocked over there. In uh, giving chase to the puck. Excuse me. Mulvihill made the contact off the skate of Lyman. Little chuck there from Pond. Whoa. Whoa. We almost put little that in on his mouth. Little, little <laughs> misunderstanding there between Ma uh, Watson and Manuelo. Watson nearly put it into his own net. That would have been disastrous. Would have been nice for us. Yeah. Disastrous for the Warriors. Yes. Spencer Rose skates into the circle. He's got a Golden Knight. Julian's going to face, face him up. One there by the Warriors. Genster's got it down the left wing. Tried to cut in and get a wrist shot off, off the leg. Off the leg of Scotty. Conway's got it, loses possession of it momentarily. They're battling for it. Up against the boards, gets knocked out of there. Scotty with possession now. Over to Rose. Rose can't measure his pass to Vani. Warriors have got it. Pond gets knocked into the boards. Oh. Anthony just got mad at the board. Break your stick doing that. Gotta be I careful. I thought it broke, actually. I think it did break. I think he might have just finished the job there once he went to the bench. $200 wasted on a board. Stray whistle <laughs> there. And now and we're going to get a misconduct on, on Larry Anthony. And he trudges into the penalty box. He knew that was coming. He was hoping he could get away with it, though. kind of mental mistakes you have to stay away if you're up by three here don't put yourself under extra pressure there stays full strength so really not that big of an issue no. Martins has got it two on one Natalizia was to his right Natalizia is going to pick it up drops it off Morris got it hit behind the net hard by Fliss Good pass there Those to Hallis. Those are the two that went at it earlier. But Huber there to intercept. Huber is on his game tonight, I have to say. Nearly an, Freshman stepping up. Nearly an incisive pass there, but Huber gets back on defense, breaks up the play. You're right, Sam. He's been unbelievable in defense tonight. Another battle in the corner. Huber's in there. Hallis in there. Walker's got it for the Warriors. Reverses his direction, gets it over to Halleck. Halleck attacking to Dino. Couldn't get that one on frame. What do you have a penalty on now? Penalty call there, and it looks on like Huber. that one's going to be on Ryan Huber. So after we pile on the praise, he gets sent <laughs> to the box. <laughs> we got to stop doing that. Yeah. Part of the gig here. Part exactly. of the gig. Can't blame yourself. Just got to keep rolling and making predictions. You said a two-goal win here. I said a two-goal lead. I'm looking Speaking at it right now. Speaking of predictions, a three-goal advantage here by the anchorman. Hey, I was way off last time. Giving chase to that is Alex Lyman. He got Defender lucky. Defender slipped, slipped there. Got it off his stick was Rotkowitz. Lucky. Pressure there applied by Alex Lyman. Vitaly's got it. Over to Rotkowitz. 
Back to the tally. Thought about the shot, finally takes it. Kicked away by Tadino. Door now. Tried to center it in the direction of Spellman. Cleared out by the anchorman. Manuelo gets rid of it. Rotkowitz giving chase. Bonnie's giving chase to Rotkowitz. Slowing it up by the Warriors. Just under 12 minutes left in this game. Rotkowitz looking for the stick of Angelico. He tried playing it first time in the direction of Eddie Dore. Angelico wrist shot high. Rebound knocked back into the mixer by Dore. I believe he missed high on that one as well. Spellman in the slot, wrist shot off the chest of Tadino. Anchorman looking to get it clear. They can't, can't get it past Vitale. Vitale knocked it back into the neutral zone, so he's got to slow it up. He's going to bring it in. Rodkowitz thought about a wrist shot, deflected. Lyman got in the way of that. Angelico shovels it up to Spellman. Spellman to Door. Jack Boney knocks it away from Door's stick. Back to Door, look to play the one, two. Hard wow. wrist shot in the slot there from Corey Gabor. Missed high and wide of that top right corner. Nearly, nearly his first of the game. Would have made things five to three here. Five seconds left on this power play for the Warriors. Looks like it's gonna be another successful penalty kill by the anchorman. Hubert pops out of the box and the anchorman are back to full strength. Gabor in the slot, backhand. Tadino covers it up. Tadino consistently one of the best performers for the anchorman. Definitely. Just a rock between the pipes. He's stepped into the starting position this year and he is excelling. He's been excellent in the two games that we've seen especially. And the game against uh, University of Vermont, six to two. All on Tadino. Anchorman with possession now. Pass sticks on the, the blade of Mora. Mora's got Martins to his right. Martins could handle the pass back up front to Mora. Tried shoveling it in the direction of Manulo. Knocked around. Walker's got it now for the Warriors. Young harassing him. <laughs> Conway and Walker in the corner. Walker up top. Watson slap shot. Doesn't doesn't reach to Dino. Oh. Interception there in the neutral zone by the Warriors. Julian's got it. A good job there. Gonna have a whistle. Might have broken sticks this game. That was Scotty getting back, doing a nice job lifting that stick. Broken stick, I believe that's Julian's. He needs a replacement. We're gonna get a slashing call on Marco Scotty. He just got out of the box. Jumping right back in. <laughs> Mold the hill, skates into the circle. Spencer Rose is gonna take it for the anchorman. Mold the hill, skates out, Julian comes in. Rose wins the face off. Lyman's got it now for the anchorman. J skating through the neutral zone right now out to the left wing. Poked away. Julian's got it now for the Warriors. Good job getting back defensively as Spencer Rose gets a, gets a hip check in there. Dumped all the way to Manuel. Fliss in the corner. Little shot from Rose. Hard shot from Lyman in the slot. Tried going five hole there. Shut down by Manuel. And that's going to be a penalty. We have a delayed penalty here coming on the anchorman. Eastcon's going to pull the goalie. Dumped into Tatino. And the penalty is going to be called here. And that's going to be on Seth Tobias. He's going to sit in the box. That'd be on Spencer Rose. Was it Spencer Rose? Yeah. I thought that was six, not 26. Right. My it's mistake. It's a very understandable mistake. Spencer Rose is going to take a seat. Marco Scott is in there with him. Little team bonding in the penalty box. Five on three, the score is five to two. Nine oh nine left in this one. Warriors looking to mount a comeback. Yeah. With a minute 19 left still in Scotty's penalty, I, I don't know. Mora kicked out. Angelico's in there. Huber took it. 
Not often do you see a defenseman no. taking the face off. But Hubert's had a good game, so might as well. Rodkowitz and there's not many on the ice. was looking for Spellman, deflected off the stick of Mora. I believe that hit the ceiling. Yes. Went out of play. So the three on the ice right now for the anchorman, Huber, Bruno, Mora on the ice. Five on three here, at least another minute of that. Spellman battling up front, poked away by Bruno. Up top, this is Fliss. He thought about the shot, wrists one in there off the chest of Tadino. We're gonna get another whistle called here. And skating over to the box is Joseph Angelico. So we go to four on three. <laughs> and the Anchorman fans go wild. So an opportunity wasted by the Warriors giving up their huge numbers advantage. It was five on three, drops down to four on three now. 58 seconds until Marco Scotti pops out of the box. Mora on the ice, Nadiger on the ice, Martinelli on the ice for the Anchorman. Spellman took the face off, couldn't win it from Mora. Mora battling with it on the boards. Spellman's got it now. Spellman taking it up. Contact there with Mora. They both end up on the ground. Knocked down by Manulo. Fliss is given chase. Across the boards over to Vitali. Vitali finds the stick of Eddie Dorr. Door taking it into the heart of the defense. Leaves it out front. No one crashing for the Warriors. Easily handled by the anchorman. Mora just throws one off the boards. Warnock's going to come off the bench for Mora. A little bit of contact there with Vitali. Vitali now for the Warriors. Knocked away by Warnock. Another whistle. If I was a ref, I'd get so sick of whistles and penalties. And oh, no, Cody goes to the top pot. So Cody Warnock is going to take a seat here. Nine, six seconds, excuse me, left on Marco Scotti's penalty. We now have two players on the ice. Alex Lyman is going to oh, take. Oh, no, we have three. We, never mind. Alex Lyman is going to take Cody Warnock's spot. Remains four on three. The ref explaining this decision here. <laughs> and they all share a laugh at the end of it. <laughs> <laughs> Corey Gabor and Lyman set to take the face off. The ref explaining what the procedure is here over to Coach Gwynn. 754. I don't think you'll see a game with more penalties no. in your entire life. This uh -uh. is. We had one last year. Remember, I actually did the scorekeeping for the game last year, and I was like writing on the bottom, writing on the side. And they give you a good 25 lines, I think. 25, 30 lines. Now explaining it to the EastCon <laughs> coaches. Another long delay in this game. Something we're getting used to here. Yeah. Six seconds on Scotty's penalty here. Face off won by the Warriors. Up top. Dri skated in there, had, had all day to shoot. Kicked away by Tadino. That came off the stick of Corey Watson. Chris Pond has got it now for the Warriors. Watson thought about the shot, faked it. Walker has it in the corner. Tadino cut off the angle there for Walker. Watson's got it now. Still five on three, or four on three, oh, There's going to be a penalty coming on someone. I'm thinking it might be a warrior who's in the crease, but I'm not sure. It's delayed call delayed right here. Delayed penalty. This is going to be on the anchorman, I believe. I think so, because, yeah. Watson drops it off to Walker. Excuse me, Gabor. Now Rose comes out of the box, touches it up. Lyman's going to skate into the box. Scotty pops out. <laughs> Larry Actually, Anthony Nat is still in the box. Nadiger's out. Nadiger just <laughs> got the boot. Wasn't that his one goal of the game to not get thrown out? He got the old boot there. 
hit the showers early. He's not the first guy. Both nope. number 10s yeah. on both rosters kicked out. Brian Constantine, Mike Nadiger, he's out. And for those of you viewers at home who forgot, Larry Anthony is still in the penalty box. A five on three situation here. Working out what's going on here on the ice. We just had one long delay <laughs> right into another. I, think th I don't think this is helping what uh, Cal was talking about with these people sitting on the bench, not getting into the game. Not this at isn't all. Helping. Looks like Brian Luther is going to skate over to the box. So served two minutes for Nadiger, or I don't know how long ago. Long. It's a game disqualification, not even just a game misconduct, which means Nadiger will not be allowed to play in tomorrow's game. Tough one there for Nadiger. As you said, his goal is to not get kicked out. Just got double duty for that <laughs> one, so his weekend's cut short. He's got time to go trick-or-treating a little <laughs> early. I don't think anyone's going trick-or-treating tomorrow. No. I don't know if anyone's going trick going to trick-or-treating at all. all. We might have the hurricane of the century here. What are they calling it? The Frankenstorm. There you go. <laughs> this is what we resorted to talking about. The hurricane. The, <laughs> the crowd is getting rowdy They're right now. Happy. They don't like these delays. There's someone up there in the crowd who's just yeah, he's screaming all it. game. It's, it's kind of funny. <laughs> is that a water bottle in his hand or something I, else? Uh, That's the question that Jeff asked. Yeah. Pond has got it now at the point. Takes a slap shot into the gut of Tadino. And the crowd goes wild. They're, they're excited for any bit of action. Yeah. There's been a lot of standing around in this game so far. Gabor's going to take the face off here. Mora was in there for the anchorman. Cleared away there off the stick of Alex Roshek. Roshek. Jo uh, Angelico comes out of the penalty box for the Warriors. He's in possession right now. Up the right wing. Conway defending. Conway wins that challenge. Clears it out of there for the anchorman. 122 left on this first penalty. It's four, it's five on three, excuse me. Warriors have been playing five on three for about the last six yeah, minutes. Really, it's the exact opposite of last period. Coach Cal talked about how this penalty kill has been lights out. It's kind of hard when you're down five, when it's five on three. Got another penalty call here. I believe this one's going to on go against Corey Gabor. According to the fans, it's on the Warriors. <laughs> I have to say, I've been in the stands for games like this. It's, it's kind of fun. Oh. Corey G I think that's about the fifth 10-minute game misconduct for the game. So Corey Gabor looks like he's going to get a game misconduct as well. So two game misconducts in the last... Actually, excuse me, a game disqualification and a game misconduct. Yes. Two game misconducts for the Eastcon Warriors. Can't say it hasn't been coming. I think that one was just for mouthing off. Gabor. I think so. Didn't I call it in the beginning of the game? Guys getting ejected left and right. Guys in the penalty box. Tobias skating over the ref, having a little discussion here. Bruce Cutcomp's going to jump in the box to stand in for Gabor. It's 11.30 at night right now. We still <laughs> have six minutes left in this game. Got to be a night owl to oh follow yeah, these anchormen, yeah. especially in this game. Probably equal time of action as well as discussion about penalties and situations here. We have a scorekeeper, head ref. <laughs> Oh, they're on the back page of the sheet now. I think if you caught in there, Sal Zillow, the head ref, said some verbal junk from Corey Gabor, got him the boot. Got to respect the men. You do. Got to respect the zebras. <laughs> there you That's go. That's rule number one. Rokowitz over to Mortali. Rokowitz has got it again. Slung up against the boards to Dino. Dropped it off there momentarily for... Ryan Huber. 
Anchorman clear it away. Through it all, the Anchorman still hold a 5-2 advantage over the Warriors. Oh, Cody Warnock's popped out. So it's back to four on four right now. Mora giving chase. He's got Warnock to his right. Leaves it for him just behind him with that pass. Bruno, wrist shot down low. The oh. redirect from Cody Warnock. Handled by Manuelo. Mora's gonna take the face off here. Get some changes from both teams. Scotty comes back onto the ice. Martinelli comes off, comes onto the ice. Bruno and Huber take a seat. Can't believe how late it is. Get some coffees up here in the booth, please. <laughs> please. <laughs> Fliss has got it. Throws it over into the direction of Spellman. Moore has got it now. Warnock to his left. Takes the wrist shot. Kicked away by Manuel. Door. Knocks it behind the net over in the direction of Vitali. Spellman here down the right wing. Good job there by Brian Luther. Getting in between the puck and the man. Separates him from it. Warnock. Knocks it on past Vitali. Takes the wrist shot and finds, finds his way into the net via the post. That wrist shot hit the shoulder of Manuelo, but only deflected it onto the inside of the post, and it goes in. Six to two now for the anchorman. Oh, they have someone in the box. Vitali's gonna go into the box. Cut comp's gonna come out. The Warriors, undisciplined, is one word I would use to describe yeah. this Eastcon team. I know it's the first season and all, but I'm thinking a lot of these guys have been playing most of their lives. Through it all, another goal for the Anchorman. Gets them to six to two. Second time we've been here, second time they've scored six goals. I don't know if I just said that a minute ago. I may have. I don't think so. Here again. I thought about it. Maybe that's why. Martinelli <laughs> up in the direction of Natalizia. Into the glove of Tadino. Drops it out of there. Swings it behind to Scotty. Scotty drops it back to Tadino. Behind the net, Martinelli. Martinelli up to Luther. Luther at center eyes with it. Has Jack Boney in front of him. Has Natalizia to his right. Scotty. Getting into the slot as well. Natalizzi has got it in the corner. Try drop, drops it off, excuse me, successfully to Luther. Luther puts it in the direction of the net. Jack Von, Jack Voney. Skating around with it. Leaves it for Scotty, wrist shot, kicked away by Manuelo. Martinelli gets lit up <laughs> there by Julian at the blue line. Julian. Shovels one in the direction of Genster. He couldn't couldn't latch onto it. Martinelli hops over the uh, the hit there, very gracefully. Natalizia knocked into the boards by Mulvihill. Spencer Rose lifts the stick of Julian, picks his pocket, has Scotty to his right, tries centering it to him. Good job there. Good job there by Pond getting in the way of that pass. Natalizia's got it. Scotty slap shot misses. Wide left, Conway, Rose. Pond looking to clear it out for the Warriors. Intercepted there almost by Roshak. That puck goes out of play, so we're gonna get another stoppage here. 2.55 in the third period. Anchorman with the four oh, goal Larry lead. Larry Anthony comes out. Larry Anthony pops out of the box. Overall solid performance from the Anchorman, and this has been probably been a tough game to play in with the stops, mm -hmm. the starts, the penalties, the odd numbers on the ice. Just an out of the ordinary game. We haven't had five on five in a while. Since the first period. All the Hills got it for the Warriors. Try getting the backhander in the direction of Tadino, missed wide of the net. Shovel back in, Tadino handles it carefully. 
Contact behind the net there, centered. Thrown in there by Mortali. Eastcon still battling hard down the stretch here. Bruno just knocks it into the attacking zone. Rojak giving chase. Tobias now down the left. Try looking in the direction of Rojak. Nice little pirouette there from Walker. <laughs> Pulling out some moves. To get away from trouble. Knocked over by Tobias though. Take your fancy footwear elsewhere. <laughs> Door was looking to latch onto that loose ball, a uh, loose puck, excuse me, couldn't get to it. Lyman now for the anchorman. Stolen away by Halleck. Halleck skates to the right, up against the board. Tadino comes out of his net again, takes control of it for the anchorman. Warnock looks up for Lyman. A little bit of contact there between Lyman and Fliss. Huber. Huber comes right off the bench and is like, I'm going to get you out of my way. Rejects Halleck. <laughs> We're going to get a whistle here. See what the call is. It's the longest time I think all game without a whistle. Not bad when it's 11.40 at night. I think the puck went out of play there. I think so. Ryan Martin's back on the ice. I feel like it's been a while <laughs> yes, since he's been out there. Him and Young we haven't seen for a while. Door can't keep possession of it. Puck knocked around in the neutral zone. Spellman's got it now for the Warriors. Wrist one into Tadino's chest. Rebound nearly fell for Door there. Tadino covers it up. As a goaltender as competitive as Vinny Tadino, you know he's not going to want to give up a penalty or give up a goal right now in garbage not time. At all. Warriors win the face off through Angelico. Morris got the puck now for the anchorman. Cross ice finds the stick of Young. Young slap shot in the chest of Manuela. They have stray whistle there by the Martin ref. Martin looks mad about something. I don't think they like that whistle. I don't think the ref saw that that puck pop out of the chest of Manuel. I think he had it covered. I think the ref thought he had it covered up. He didn't. Martins is going to take the face off for the anchorman. Warriors win it. Watson throws it up against the board. Mora keeps it in. Mora whips it back towards goal. Kicked away by Manuel. Doris got it now for the Warriors. Now Angelico, Spellman looking to get past Huber. Huber who's been a standout all game long. Good defending once again. In the corner, Huber gets it away to Martinelli. Up to Young, Young cuts inside, try to get a wrist shot away. Only gets it into the chest of Watson. Here comes Eddie Dort again. Got Watson on his right. Watson lifts it into the top oh, corner. Man. The defenseman with a little snipe there. Gets up, joins the attack. Wrist shot, top right corner. Nothing Vinny Tadino could, could nope. do about that. Only 19 seconds left in this game. Six to three now. Tadino's not going to be happy about that, especially nope. glove side. So six to three now, the Warriors get a late consolation goal. Ackerman just looking to wear this clock down, under 15 seconds left. Knocking it around the Warrior zone. Jack Boney's got it and that is it. Another game here on Anchor TV, another victory for the Anchorman, this time six to three. We're gonna send Sam Allen down to the ice to get an interview with one of our biggest stars. But for everyone upstairs here in the booth, myself, Sam Allen, Tom Lima directing, Shannon Carlson working the graphics, Rob Sanchuri on a camera, Nate Bissell also on a camera. All Thanks for all of them. Thanks for you guys for tuning in. We'll be right back with an on-ice interview with Sam Allen.
Sam Allen here with the number two star of the game, Ryan Huber. You really were stepping it up on defense today. And we spoke earlier, I know you and I talked over the weekend, how you hurt your back last year, your senior year. Came back, you've been playing amazing so far this season. How does it feel to be back in the game? Feels phenomenal, nine months off, it's it kind of tough. I'd like to give a shout out to my boys right now. So yeah, it was a tough ride, but uh, I'm happy for my teammates to help me recover, so. What are you guys hoping to see in tomorrow's game? We're looking for a W. We're looking to just work hard, play physical, not like tonight. Not a lot of penalties. We're just looking to score on the power play more, sorry. All right, well there you have it. Ryan Huber here. I'm Sam Allen for Jared Ware. Thanks for watching Anchor TV.